about 10 minutes late. And then I'm gonna go change my bike stuff and try to get myself together. Is this for the day? This is for the day, it's a really long day. I think it's gonna be like six and a half hours of training, seven hours of training. So we're gonna be gone for a long time. And I need to make sure I don't forget anything and there's a lot of things to remember. So yeah, but I think we're good. I think we're pretty much there. <laughs> That's probably what I am. Honestly, what deals? The good thing is about this is that now we're starting at bike time. It was all planned. You're in a, you're in one to start, right? How's the ride going so far? How you feeling? The first um, interval, which was an hour, um, so that ahead. felt long, and I was a little bit grumpy, but I got it done. And the second one, uh, we did a 50-minute interval of climbing up to Javi, and I felt a lot better. So. Um, sometimes when you're tired and you're in the thick of it, you just gotta like hang in there and it comes around. Right into the run? Right into the run. Well, not like a, a super fast transition here or anything. <laughs> but we are gonna go straight into the run, yeah. Not. You know. What is it? This is my... As far as I'm concerned, you're, you're the... Oh, you're no. Friends. I've made a mistake, Gel. Oh. Right Which, you know, that's, that's, if that's, things that's, start that's, to go that's, south, you didn't fuel enough, then you could need this, but I'm not gonna need it. We are at the Kona Aquatic Center, and I'm gonna do a little technique session with Paul. Dan is gonna get a tan, and uh, yeah, we're gonna get after it, right? My energy after. level, poor. LBT <laughs> score, poor. But we're gonna go for it anyway, right? I do this really weird thing with my um, yeah. right arm when I breathe to my left and I'm not super stable so we're just working on making that a little bit more crisp um, so I can breathe to both sides when I need to. It was a really big day but a really good day so I'm pretty stoked with it. I'm trying not to get too excited um, but I'm definitely you know, a lot fitter than last year so yeah good. So how many weeks total now? Been here two and a half weeks. Yeah, I've got through a lot of sun cream. <laughs> so far, it looks like everyone's here. So yeah, that's super exciting. Obviously women's only race, so that's like complete focus on the women. The men are out the way. Um, but yeah, I think that was just like, it's Kona, there's so many variables. I think you always, have an idea of how you think the race is going to go, where people are going to be, and then, you know, someone has an amazing swim or someone else has a terrible swim, and it all changes. I think the problem when you've had an injury for so long is it's really hard to, like, not doubt yourself, kind of every morning. Like, I've had mornings where I've woken up and I've been like, oh, is, that a, is that a little niggle I can feel? Is that my calf again? Is it something? Is it nothing? And it, you have this whole mental battle of is that something I should be worried about? Should I back off or am I just, like, is it just in my head? You know, like, so you, you kind of begin to doubt your ability to know your body that well. Um, I think I'm feeling about as good as I can be for this race, given what this year has been like. And actually, I'm just super excited to race. I think if I have a bit of a lucky day. I managed to pull everything together and have a great race. I could maybe scrape into the top five, but like honestly, like it's Kona, anything can happen. And outside of triathlon, what are you passionate about? Ooh. Spending time with family, cooking, reading, wine and chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what's the plan? Five hours. Getting to get the race course. course. <laughs> See if there's any new hills <laughs> or any new straights I have I forgot about. It's important to get used to the jam trailing. It's hard in the saddle. Doesn't feel very comfortable after four hours not moving around. So, so it's pretty much 6.25, 6.21 now. Yes. This is kind of the feeling. How does it feel? Quite the back here now. We've got four minutes. Four minutes to get to the swim stop. Yeah, it feels different. It's, you know, quiet now. But, yeah, it's good to... It's good to get one done early, like this. It's nice that it's still calm, but 
yeah, the, the nerves will come up soon enough. So uh, I'm just gonna swim the 4K or 3.8. Not not not, but just kind of get a steady swim in. And then get, get some breakfast. I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> Do you typically never eat before a training session? First, like, oh, you always yeah. do a training session first, yeah. and, then, and then. Yeah, yesterday was hard. After three hours on the bike, I was like, just, just, see stars. <laughs> yeah. So you didn't do breakfast before the no, bike? No, I, I didn't eat all, all right. So at least I know I can do the ride without food. <laughs> That's <laughs> good to know, just in case. Usually train down here? No, never. Is this the first time you would have done this? Well, I know that place well from races, and as soon as you're all, like on a course from the race, it's I'm in race mode. Like I really think of everything in the race, even though it doesn't have to be hard. But you're running on the course and you're thinking about I'm. That's how I do it. I always think on the race and you know how just getting ready for hell. <laughs> Because, I mean, we're here in paradise, but what we actually do is we get ready for hell. <laughs> you know, it's not, it's going to be a painful race. And, and why I, I also like to train on my own for that, because you, you really, you're really stuck with your thoughts. Where in racing, it's the same. Like on a ride like yesterday, where I felt pretty bad and like bad in the saddle. You're just thinking, how is it going to be if you feel like that in a race, you know, and that climate. The humidity is just going to take it out of you. It's a dry trip. <laughs> Training back home has been really, really good. Like I had one of the best blocks ever in terms of Ironman preparation. And I feel the fittest I've been for probably since 2012. So I'm super happy where the body is at. It's very happy at the moment. And consistency is key. So you want to stay consistent, you want to stay healthy, you want to stay injury free, but you also want to improve. So it's that like, how much can you do? You don't always get what you deserve. <laughs> if everyone would get that, everyone would be world champions. Uh, but hopefully, I PR'd here last year, and hopefully I can you know, get another improvement and, and move it closer to the three, three or five, which would put me a bit better into the race. But you, nev you never know, right? Like, that's what I would like to do, and I think that's, that's what I could do. I have the capabilities, but let's see <laughs> where the body thinks on, on next Sunday. Within my history, I'm one of the best athletes out there. I have been one of the best runners. I used to run down Annie Haug in the, in the 10K. Uh, at the moment, there's a lot of girls who have the faster marathon time, like way faster marathon time than me. So on a very, very good day, I could get on the podium and that's where I'm aiming. But on a very good day, I could also be top 10 somewhere. So it's, it's so competitive these days. And you like, if you have a little bit of an off day, there's like five more girls coming past you. So it's. I think the, the main focus with Ironman is once you start racing, it gets very complicated and you might burn yourself out really quickly. When you start racing yourself, that's when you can have a really good race. So for me to do well, I just need to cut out all the shit and all the other people and just trying to get the best out of me and what I can on race day. Yeah. Who are you most excited to race against and why? Oh, Taylor Nib, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Because there's so many different ways you could play it. You can go out and just be the tourist. And like, you know, I've done them everything I need to do this year. I can relax and just go with the flow. She could also go out and just absolutely kill it and see how long it lasts for. And she might get away with it. Or it might be uh, um, some difficult times out on the Queen K. But it's going to be amazing to watch. And I think she's going to, you know, obviously she's an amazing athlete. Uh, I think she's going to be very smart. And it is going to be cool to see it.